Morning everyone, and I don't kaito from I don't kaito's gaming this. And today I'm gonna discuss the story mode and how story development of Destiny 2 differs from that of Destiny 1. During IGN's presentation yesterday, both Matthew Ward, that's the cinematic lead, and Jason Harris, who's the senior narrative lead for Bungie, had a couple of things to say. Whether this sheds some light or not onto the story mode, it's all hypothetical, and both of them keep their analogy on rhetorics. However, they open off the bat with a fair comparison of what Destiny 1 is and what Destiny 2 will entail. Jason Harris opened up this statement quoting, If Destiny 1 had a heartbeat, it was nice, methodical, rhythm that just kind of underpinned the entire existence. It was steady, it supported the world. Destiny 2, this is like the heartbeat of someone who is over at Orange Theory Fitness. It's like a machine gun without the light. End quote. I had to agree with them because Destiny 1 all in all had many issues to begin with but we can't take away the fact that it worked as a foundation to what Destiny 2 will be. They realized that one of their biggest problems is the story mode as it has been discussed many times before. They had no idea what being part of the light meant, what being a guardian was all about. Both Harris and Ward explained that this is a process all of the main factions guardians will go through in the story. We will learn about who the Traveler is, but most importantly, we will head off into seeing a weak and frail Guardian, a mortalized Guardian without its powers. We will see Savala, Cade, and even Ikora going through this phase of what it means to be a Guardian. What sets you apart from those we are set to protect since the moment we are resurrected by our ghosts? Matthew and Jason made a very fair comparison to a Superman losing its powers and staying as a Clark Kent permanently. I think they rehearsed this because I can't find a better comparison than that one. We go into Destiny 2 without our powers in a journey of self-discovery to find what we are. To see our surroundings, how the loss of the Traveler affects everyone around us from the iconic Guardians to the people we're sworn to protect. Matthew Ward was blunt to say that D1 was just a foundation. A prequel leading to the discovery of the worlds and paved the way for a more structured story. All the questions that rose during the first three years without answers will hopefully become answered with Destiny 2. Ward goes further as to let us know how Destiny 2 will place Guardians as we begin the game by quoting, Without the light, am I a Guardian at all anymore? What does it mean to be chosen? What does it mean to be special in this world? What does it mean to have a higher power or a higher authority uh, choose you to go onto a golden path to accomplish some earth-shattering, universe-shattering, system-shattering goals? End quote. According to Harris, Bungie went through a lot to build up the world, which gives them enough confidence to focus more on the story right now and build more cinematic scenarios. They found that people love certain characters, a world, or a different storyline, and with that, they kept on finding ways to use these ideas we gave and throw a lot of the feedback received into the building of a solid and complex story mode. But not everything is just about the story, there's also the motivational factor of the game itself. To do this, Jason says that they took a deeper approach by trying to understand what goes on into each of their worlds. Gaul's world, Savala's world, Ikora or Kate's world, the thing that makes each and every one of them unique in their own way, their goals and desires, what makes them them. Destiny 2 is certainly looking forward to the wide variety of story channels and how it will infuse throughout the game. To be blunt, they even quoted, I hope people complain about how much story we have. End quote. To conclude everything on one whooping statement, I don't think too much story is a bad thing. If you don't like it, you can always skip through it and go on with the gameplay without having a clue who the speaker is, as an example. We can all agree the game like Uncharted, for example, have way too much story, or games like Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts, yet those three franchises have proven to be solid benchmarks on the market and they all hold that wow factor. It's not just about the gameplay, the story and the way it sucks you into the game is a big part of this, and a big part of why everyone loved Grimoire on Destiny. It makes you feel like a part of the Destiny universe. Well that's it for today, stay tuned for more daily videos by subscribing to my channel and leave a comment and let me know what you think. Betas release is around the corner and as random comment, don't forget to turn on your playstations, I hear the new update is finally out today and it's a little bit over 300 megabytes. 
So be safe, Guardians. See ya.